We're going to be palpating the muscle gracilis, which is one of our adductors. As previous adductor videos, we're going to be bringing the leg up into a figure four. However, gracilis is a bit of a unique one of the adductors because it is the only adductor that actually crosses the knee joint. So before we go further into the palpation, I'm just going to show my partner here the action. Because it's the only adductor that crosses the knee joint, what I'm going to ask her to do is drag her heel along the table up towards her glutes, which is going to add in some knee flexion, or you're going to have your person dig their heel into the table and that's going to start to raise up the gracilis muscle. So she relaxes for a second and you kind of look just in this area where my fingertips are. And again, go ahead and dig into it. So right in this area, here is our gracilis. Okay. So gracilis is sitting just posterior to the adductor longus on the superficial muscles in these adductors. But if you reference it, it is considered the most medial muscle of the thigh. So another way to help us identify where gracilis is, I'm gonna start off by looking for adductor longus. So I'm gonna place one hand on the inside of the knee, I'm gonna place the other hand just above the medial thigh, and ask her to raise her leg up. So right in here, this is adductor longus in this location, but if I go right below that, and I'm gonna sink in with some weight so you can see my hand move, and I ask her to dig her heel into the table, go ahead, and there we go. There's the lift from gracilis but because she's only moving her knee, this is definitely not adductor longus, which doesn't cross the knee. So again, if she flexes and digs her heel in the table, this lift that you're seeing happen and relax going down is happening from the adductor that crosses the knee. Okay, for us to get closer to its origin, I'm gonna ask her to border like you've seen in previous adductor videos. So she's just creating a border for me. I'm gonna be asking her to dig her heel into the table, good. And I'm gonna follow this strap-like muscle up towards its origin, which again is on the pubic bone. I'm gonna ask her to relax. So I'm right next to the pubic bone. I'm just gonna sink in and ask her again to drag her heel a little bit. Good, and there's our lift and back down. So this is the inferior pubic ramus, as well as a little bit of the body of the pubis. And those are the origins for this muscle. Again, if you would dig your heel into the table and just hold that for me. I'm gonna follow this superficial strap muscle down the medial thigh. And then it's gonna to start to blend in with two other muscles. So from anterior, we have sartorius. And from posterior, I have semitendinosus. And those three muscles are basically this group right in the medial part of the thigh right here. So gracilis is in the middle of those two. So I'm gonna ask now, that you try to do a deduction with this knee form, bring it across your body, good. And that's gonna eliminate some of the semitendinosus and sartorius function, where they're all three of them together. And as I cross, I'm now crossing the knee joint right in this area here, the condyle of the tibia, and just below the condyle of the tibia, this is the insertion of those three muscles which make up the pes anserine insertion site of the tibia. Another thing that I like to call this is PAM, so if you've heard any of the previous videos from me before, I call this PAM, which is the proximal medial anterior surface of the tibia, but it is the pes anserine insertion site. So with all of those functions together, we are having adduction and flexion of the thigh, as well as you will have flexion and a slight medial rotation of a flexed knee at this knee joint. And that's gonna conclude our palpation of gracilis.